In today's video, we're going to talk about the best VR headset for your iPhone. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So in today's tech video, we're talking VR headsets and spe specifically for your iPhone. Now, many of us have different kinds of uh, phones that we use. Maybe you have a Pixel, maybe you got an Android device, a Galaxy, or maybe you have an iPhone like I do. And, um, and you're looking to get into the VR headset world. Well, I think this headset will be a good introductory headset for you because just like phones headsets can be across the board on prices you can get them real cheap and you can get them real expensive like the facebook oculus but this one that i'm getting ready to show you guys is i think a good middle of the road type of vr headset now i did buy a real cheap headset recently on my iphone and i scratched the screen so I, be very careful on what you buy the one that i got had one when you kind of slid the phone in this one here that I'm getting ready to show you has a lip on it, or not a lip, uh, uh, kind of like a flap on it. So, it, I mean, it's been perfect for me in the time that I've owned it, and that's why I'm making this video to recommend it as the best VR headset for the iPhone. Now, um, preference to say, like I said, this is all a matter of opinion. This headset is around the $40 range, maybe a few dollars off. I'll put a link in the description down below of where you can get it on Amazon. But um, I think you guys would like this one. So let's go ahead and dive into the specifics of it. Of the Destech virtual reality headsets. So I've been wanting to get into some of this virtual reality viewing because it's becoming more and more popular in today's day and age. You can watch like NBA games now in virtual reality if you, as, you, as long as you have one of these types of headsets. Um, a lot of the games that, you're, that you can download in the apps and stuff can be uh, viewed in virtual reality. My kids play Roblox and they can play that in virtual reality. So um, the way of the future is that this is becoming a very popular tech item that people are getting into. Uh, so I wanted to dive into a little bit and try it out and see what it's going to be like. And so we're going to dive into this thing here and see what it's like. So let's go ahead and unbox it, see what's inside the box. Okay, so now we have the goggles out of the box and they're nice and black. I like black as one of my favorite colors, but so far they look like they're pretty, it's pretty well made. Um, so it's got an extended strap here to go around your head. The cool thing about this one is it was already installed on there. Sometimes they send you these straps or you gotta install them yourselves. This one was already on there. So it's on there like that. It's got a head mount here. So that way um, it stays securely to your head. So it's got the strap here, here, and here, so three layers. Um, and then you can adjust it, of course, here on the sides to make it tighter or smaller, depending on the size of your head. Now also on the back side here, it's got these adjustments. So whenever you put your cell phone in here, which we'll do here in a minute, you can take and slide these like that to adjust it in case it's blurry or to focus it in according to how you have it in here and the way your phone is because all phones are different sizes if you have a you know like a, a max iphone max or if you have just like a pro or if you got a droid they all are different sizes and then you can adjust it by sliding and it slides real easy so that's nice here um it's hinges right a hinge right there unlock it you open here just like that and so it's got a pad right here to kind of keep your phone safe and then the inside of it looks like that almost looks like a robot Okay, so what you do is you put your phone in here, then you would take and, or actually before you put your phone in there, you would take a picture of that, or if you have an iPhone, you open up your camera app and then you scan that QR code, and then it automatically takes you to your app store to where you can download uh, a VR app. Uh, so you would do that, I imagine it's the same for Android, I don't own an Android phone, but I imagine it's the same. Um, and then it's also on the side of the box, there's a QR code there that takes you to the desktechgear.com uh, website, but this will get you right to the app store. So you scan that QR code there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put my phone in there so that way you guys can see how it fits. Now I'm right here, I'm rocking the 11 
Pro. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave my case on there um, and put it in there just like that. Okay, and so it fits in there. This is what the 11 Pro sizing fits on there. And then you just close it in, snaps, and it's in there pretty good. Like it's not moving around. Some of these VR headsets, you got to put them in there and they still wobble. But this holds it in there pretty nice and secure. And then we'll go ahead and try it on just like that. And that is what it feels like. So this could be a little bit tighter. Uh, the thing I also like about this is right here, it's got a notch cut out. So that way, I, whenever you're breathing, the lens doesn't get all fogged up and that way um, your air out of your nose comes straight out uh, and not fogging up your screen. But yeah, it's pretty comfortable on your face. It's got that padding that goes all the way around and it's pretty thick like that, making it very comfortable. There are some plastic pieces on the goggles here that you need to peel off. I'll go ahead and do that now. Nice and clear. The other thing this particular VR headset has is right here on the top, it's got a button that you can push uh, because sometimes when you're ever you're in a VR game, um, there's a particular spot that you would have to like, um, if you had a controller, you would take and move your controller to go to that menu icon to click play or start or something like that. What you do with this is you move your head around and then it'll be like a pointer on the screen and then you would click that button on top to select it to hit play or start your game or whatever it is that you're playing. Now, whenever I did scan that QR code that's on here, it did uh, automatically download an app that was called Cardboard and that's what it installed on my iOS. So I imagine it would do the same if you had an Android when you scan that QR code. All right, so once you have it open and once you have the Cardboard app installed, you can go into your app store, just type in VR games, and that's what I did here. And then there's just a whole slew of them that will come up on here. Uh, the first one that came up for me was a roller coaster VR game. And then there was a House of Terror VR, um, skydiving, a Jurassic Park type of game, um, another VR evil scary type of game that you can put on there maze walk so if you have kids that are maybe into like you know building a minecraft or something they have a game that's similar to that there's a vr racer diving like into the water scuba diving uh archery there's some type of archery vr game on there and uh, a zombie game i mean everybody loves zombies nowadays and then another roller coaster game goosebumps in our boots vr motorcycle so there is a, just a slew on the ios app store as far as uh, content to consume whenever you do get one of these vr goggles and it looks like just about every one of these are free on here and i love free everybody loves free i imagine there's probably a few on there that you got to buy or if maybe you get into the game, sometimes they have in-game modes where you gotta buy stuff. So that happens all the time. Maybe if you need to get rid of an advertisement or something like that, you gotta pay for the, the pro version. But a lot of these games are free on here, uh, giving you uh, some good content to be able to use your VR headset and play games and get into this VR gaming. So now this is the V5 Destech VR goggles. Um, they have different variations out there. I'm gonna have a link down in the description below of where you can get this particular model here. Um, it's a pretty affordable one. They um, have so many different VR headsets out there. It's hard to know which ones are good, which ones are bad. Um, but so far, I recommend this one. This is a cheap budget type of VR headset that kind of gets you uh, started into VR gaming. Um, and if you want to go on a little bit further, you can buy one of those more expensive ones like the Facebook Oculus or something like that. But those can get up to the realm of like, you know, hundreds of dollars, three, four hundred dollars. So this one here, pretty affordable. Um, I'll have a description down below where you can see the pricing on it. But yeah, I think it's pretty comfortable. I think it'd be a good purchase um, for a budget VR headset. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully this was helpful to you in deciding if this is the VR headset for you. And if it is, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'd love to have you back in the next tech video. Until then, be creative.